Hey, this is Dave from Audience and Influence. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your posts go viral on Facebook. And it's true, the content strategy that I'm about to show you is a guaranteed way to get way more eyeballs on your posts on Facebook and to get way more engagement than you've ever got before. So let's dive in. So there's no arguing that Facebook is an amazing platform for Facebook marketers. If you're trying to grow your online business, Facebook is a great place to be doing it. In fact, it's by far the biggest social media platform. Despite what other platforms pop up, just nothing really beats Facebook. There's almost 3 billion active users. Like that's mind blowing. But with 3 billion active users, while that does create a huge opportunity for you to connect with your ideal customers and your clients and to reach more people, it also brings out a lot more competition. And so you might notice this and think, how am I supposed to compete with everyone? How am I supposed to cut through the noise? How are my posts ever gonna be seen? And that is a legitimate problem. Just to put it in perspective, while there are billions of pieces of content that are uploaded to Facebook on a regular basis, get this statistic, get this stat. There are 250,000 photos uploaded to Facebook every minute every single minute, that is absolutely crazy. And so it just shows you how big of a problem it is for Facebook marketers, for business owners like you, who wanna post content and want the right people to see that content. Now you might've heard advice saying, just post more regularly, but actually that makes the problem worse. And here's why. If you start posting more content, now Facebook's organic reach, so the amount of people who are gonna see that content for free is being spread across a greater number of posts that you've created. And so it gives each of your posts less of a chance to actually go viral. Instead, what you wanna do is you wanna post less, make sure the content you create is perfect for it to go viral, and then all of Facebook's organic strength is focused on your few pieces of content. And that's what we're gonna be doing here in this video. So let's take a closer look at how to do that, how to make the ideal post that will go viral. So the easiest post to get viral on Facebook it's gotta be a text post natively created on one of those colored backgrounds. I see a lot of people that will go into Canva or into Photoshop and they'll make their own color background and squeeze on a whole lot of characters, a whole lot of words onto that background. No, no, no. In order to get the most organic reach, to get the most eyeballs on your content, it has to be done right on the Facebook platform. So just type your text and then choose one of those colored backgrounds. This is really important. I'm gonna show you some examples in just a second. This is really important. Your post needs to have a call to action. It needs to tell people why to engage and how to engage. Because in order for your post to go viral, there needs to be signals to Facebook saying that more people should see this post. And what are those signals? Well, it's likes and loves, it's comments and it's shares. And how do you get those? Well, you get them by asking for them. And again, I'm gonna show you an example in just a second. So now that you understand this, you gotta have a text-based post, colored background with a clear call to action. Now it all comes down to copywriting. What are the words that you're gonna use that are gonna get people motivated to engage with it so that your post actually does go viral? Let's go take a look at a couple examples here. I'm gonna start by taking a look at this example here on the left, this yellow background one. And you'll see that this is a post that I made on April 19th. It says, oh, this is pretty cool. Lucy, my wife, and I have developed four new ways to book sales calls without pitching and messenger. Wanna see? And let's take a look at the virality of this. You can see it got 361 likes and loves, 951 comments. So I would consider this quite a viral post. Interestingly, a friend of mine saw this post, and let's go take a look at this. On August 16th, he used this as a template and made his own post. And let's read out his post. He says, oh, this is pretty cool. I've developed a simple process to hire rock star appointment setters in less than 48 hours. Wanna see the steps we use. And at first glance, you might look at these and say, those are very similar posts. They're both text-based. They're both made on a Facebook color background. They both have a call to action. Even the language is very, very similar. But there are some key copywriting differences that make this post go viral, while this post, as we can see, got just a couple of likes and nine comments. Let's take a look at these because I wanna train you in copywriting so that you can make sure your next post goes viral on Facebook. Let's take a look at why this post went viral. There's three elements that made this post work really, really well. Number one is it highlighted that something was new. And you can see here, I put in big all caps, new. People love new. So if you're sharing a new strategy, a new resource, a new way to do something, make sure people understand that it's new. That's number one. Number two is it addresses a pain that the target audience has. So in my case, my audience is full of entrepreneurs, small business owners. And so I know for them, booking sales calls is a problem. 
They would like to book more sales calls. They would like an easier way to book sales calls. So I'm speaking their language, talking about a pain point that they're very aware of. Now I'm gonna pause here and I wanna go over and contrast that with this post. So this is the promise, delivering rock star appointment setters. Remember I said that over here, I wanted to address people's pain. Very clearly, my audience, they know that they need to book more sales calls. Contrast that with this post, are there a lot of people, business owners, are there a lot of prospects or leads going around thinking, I really wish I had a rock star appointment setter? No, they're likely thinking of the benefit they would have from having an appointment setter. They might be thinking, I wish I had more clients or I wish I got more sales or I wish I had a better closing rate or I wish I had better quality leads. They might be thinking those things. Are they thinking, I wish I had a rock star appointment setter? Probably not. This is very important. A lot of the copywriting that I see on simple text-based posts like this miss the mark when it comes to speaking to the pain of the audience. And this is an example where the person who posted this thought in their own terms. They thought what the audience might want instead of speaking in the terms that the audience is actually using. So that's the second thing that you need to really do from a copywriting perspective. You need to highlight, if there is something new, highlight it. And then you need to speak in your audience's terms, highlighting the pain that they're experiencing. Now, third, the third element that made this post go viral and that you can use as well is to highlight the uniqueness, highlight the uniqueness. And so you can see here, I didn't just stop and say, we developed four new ways to book calls, book sales calls, want to see. No, I highlighted the uniqueness because booking sales calls, a lot of entrepreneurs think, okay, I can go book more sales calls. I just got to pound through and messenger all day and message a hundred people and I'll probably book some sales calls, but I know Nobody wants to do that. No one wants to spend their whole day hounding people in Messenger to book sales calls. So what's unique about this strategy that we were talking about here is that it's done without pitching in Messenger. It gives it a qualifier. It gives it a uniqueness. So what I challenge you to do is think about your audience. Think about what's a pain that they're saying or they're thinking about in their own mind. Use those words. And then how can you qualify your solution, making it unique by telling your audience that you can deliver that or you can deliver a solution to that pain without doing something that they would expect, without requiring something that they would hate to do, without asking them to do something that they've always been trained to do in the past. This is amping up the newness and making your solution unique. And you'll notice over here in this example, it's, it's missing. It does say in less than 48 hours, but this requires someone to understand how long it might take to find an appointment setter. And most people don't know, is 48 hours a lot? Is that a little? And so it's really hard to get excited about this because there's too much ambiguity. And so to recap one more time, our takeaways here to make your post go viral, three elements. Highlight the newness. Make sure people understand this is new. Speak to their pain point and make sure you use the language that they're saying or that they're thinking about. And then make it unique. Give it a qualifier, something that shows that your solution or what you're offering is different from what they've experienced before. And when you do those three things and you combine that with a text-based post on a colored background and post that on Facebook with this clear call to action, this is the type of post that can go viral. Once you start getting engagement, you get those likes, loves, and comments and shares. Then Facebook sees, wow, this post needs to be seen by more people. And all of a sudden your organic reach is gonna grow and your engagement is gonna grow as a result. Now I wanna be fully transparent. While this strategy is amazing and this will work, this will help your post go viral, we also do have a secret weapon that helps us get more engagement on everything that we post on Facebook and that's the Facebook audience repair. And this is simply a tool that we use to make sure that our Facebook algorithm is really dialed in so that we know that when we post something on Facebook, especially these viral types of posts, Facebook is gonna show it to everyone. And we're gonna get a ton of engagement and reinforce the strength of that algorithm. And so if you'd like to make sure that your Facebook algorithm is at peak performance, definitely go check out fbaudiencerepair.com, fbaudiencerepair.com. At the time that I'm filming this, there is a lifetime offer where you can get the tools that you need to boost your Facebook algorithm and use it for the rest of your life. So I highly recommend this. Go check it out, FB Audience Repair. And that's the strategy that I have for you today. If this was helpful at all, give this video a like. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those below. I'm happy to help out. And as I shared, if you'd like to boost your algorithm and make sure that all your posts on Facebook are, are seen by the most number of people, definitely check out FB Audience Repair. It's the tool that we use. It's been a game changer for our business and I know it will be for you as well. Okay, can't wait to see you in the next video.